Today we head back up north and visit a truly Bay Area airport. I mean, that background speaks for itself. Hayward Executive Airport. So this is a special edition of Where's Transient Parking as we're going to show you not only where you can find transient parking, but also how to get to FBO parking. And there's actually a really good reason for that. This airport was especially tricky because we couldn't really tell based on all the information we found online how many transient spots there actually were. We ended up finding out after calling and obviously we confirmed once we landed, there's only four transient parking spots provided by the city and they're located at the base of the tower. Now I wasn't paying attention to much of the scenery coming in as I was focusing on landing, but I thought this intersection was pretty cool. 28 left being 5,018 by 150 feet and at sea level, it makes arrivals and departures a breeze, especially for us normally aspirated engine pilots. Proximity to the Oakland airport was also a big consideration as it's only about half a mile from the departure in of our runway. And that doesn't even include the Oakland Charlie that sits 1500 feet above. Hayward Airport does provide great documentation on VFR procedures when departing and arriving. We'll make sure that we link those in the description below. I'm going to admit something to you guys. I actually forgot there was a parallel runway, but because I followed procedure, I stopped after the whole short line. It was a non-event. But when you come to a new airport, there's a lot to think about. And sometimes you just forget things. And this day I did. And that's why when you hear my response, it's a little delayed. It's like I'm trying to process everything that was just told to me, which is not much. Arrow 39 Hotel cross to right at Delta contact ground. Cross 28 right at Delta and contact ground 39 Hotel. Ground arrow 1903 Niner Hotel, clear of 28 right at Delta for transient parking. Arrow 1903 Niner Hotel, he was ground to taxi data to transit at the base of the tower. Welcome. Taxi at the base of the tower. Thank you, 39 Hotel. So our first confirmation of transient parking was that yellow sign that says transient aircraft parking first row only. And so this is it. This is the transient parking. You got the Mooney, you got a Cessna, you got another Cessna, and we're actually going to park in the only spot that was available this day. Again, the probability of you coming and all the spots being taken is probably going to be pretty high. So having an FBO as an alternative is probably a good idea.
Now there are markings on the ground to help you make your turn onto the parking. There's tie down chains as well. We always bring our own still because you never know if those tie down chains are any good. We had FBO reservations, but we wanted to come to Transient Parking first so we could provide this for you guys in case you guys wanted to just park at Transient and know that the probability, once again, for you not to have any parking here is probably going to be pretty high. We actually confused the FBO. They thought we were lost. But anyways, let's head over to the FBO now. They were ground arrow 19 hotel at Transient. We actually changed our mind. We'd like to uh, go to APP. Arrow 19 Hotel, if you were down, no problem. Check the APP via Alpha. APP via Alpha. Thank you so much, 39er Hotel. Now, I'd be remiss if I did not mention, this is one of the nicest airports we've been to. And I don't mean about the location, I mean about the people. Tower was amazing. When I called the FBO, they were really, really nice. And even when I called the airport manager to verify if there was only four parking spots, the lady who picked up didn't know the answers as she wasn't the one responsible for knowing that information. But she took down my number and lo and behold, she did call back and gave me all the information I needed. So awesome job, Hayward. Now, as far as your options for FBO, you have two choices. First, it's APP Jet Center, which is where we decided to go because on four flight people gave it great reviews. And then you have your second, which is Signature. Personally, we've never had great experiences with them. At best, they've been neutral, but they seem to cater more to the big jets. Admittingly, we've never used a Signature at Hayward, but who knows? They might surprise us and be the best FBO out there. Our experience with jet centers though have been really positive and this one was no different. Now I don't know if our positive experience comes because they're jet centers or because they're not signature. I'll leave that up to you. But again when we came here everybody was really nice, very attentive. There was a little bit of confusion here. For some reason I thought they were telling me to go park in the back. That was not the case. They just was telling me to turn around. And when you arrive here, just know that 99% of the time they're going to park you facing the runway. So don't do what I did here and just completely confuse all the linemen. Sorry about that guys, but no harm, no foul. I know these videos are usually about arriving at the airport, but I want to let you guys know something very, very important about departing and it's the hold short lines for 28 left. They're not next to the runway, they're actually on the taxiway to the runway. So keep that in mind and make sure you look at the charts for that. It's a huge hot spot. And as always, we finish with our checklist. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you don't want to miss our next video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about Hayward, the FBOs, please leave a comment. All right, checklist complete. So the only thing more scenic than the approach is the departure. So here you go.